Welcome to the kitchen. Happy to welcome our special guest, Dr. Jerry Todd. Welcome. Oh, great to be here. Thank you. And uh, what is it that you do exactly in your job? Well, my job is uh, I'm a GU surgeon, so we operate on kidneys right down through to the uh, where urine comes out. Gee, you're, you're going to be helpful today. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, let's start with our kidneys. We've got some beautiful lamb kidneys. And uh, Jerry, why don't you grab one of those babies and, uh, and tell us what you can about these things. Well, Alan, these uh, pretty well much look like a kidney. As you can see, a kidney's pretty well kidney shaped. The, uh, these kidneys are quite a bit smaller than a human kidney. You get that little. Okay. But uh, it uh, looks much the same color, much the same texture. And the kidney normally has uh, some blood vessels coming in here, and then it has this tube called the ureter that uh, runs down to the bladder, and that's where the uh, urine drains out of the kidney down, down to the bladder. When you're cooking these kidneys, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that there's usually a membrane around there. And is there also yep. on human kidneys? Yeah. yeah. A little capsule around there. Yeah, and that's been removed by our butcher, who's also put a little cut in it to check it. And so these are, and these are beautifully fresh, and you want to have nice, fresh kidneys. So I'm going to ask you to, to do me a favor and cut that in half okay. for us with your scalpel. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, what goes on with kidneys. You see, the kidney has different, different little lobes to it. And the sort of the functioning area of the kidney is this tan colored area out on the outside. And that makes the urine. And then the urine, as it trickles down into this middle area, becomes uh, more and more concentrated. And then it ends up into this area we call the collecting system or the draining system and then down this tube uh, to the bladder, down the ureter to the bladder. Now when you're trimming these kidneys, you want to take out as much of that white tissue as you can. Don't have to be absolutely perfect, but uh, there we go. We've got our surgeon helping us here today. What else can you tell us about, uh, about, uh, ab about kidneys in terms of what you do for a living? Well, you know, you think of just a kidney as just making urine, but it actually, uh, it's an, an action-packed little organ. It uh, takes and filters about 180 liters of fluid a day, and out of that we get about two liters of urine, unless you're drinking a lot of coffee or beer. Oh. Uh, it, uh, it, the kidney regulates or helps regulate our blood pressure. It gets rid of uh, a lot of the other waste products. It regulates the salt balance. It makes a hormone that uh, uh, stimulates our bone marrow to, to make blood cells. So it's, a, it's an action-packed little organ, and if we were to replace this, we'd need a machine about yay big and yay high. There, we're all ready to go with our action-packed and efficient little organs here, and so i ask you to get rid of this for me, and we're gonna cook up some kidneys in a pan-roasted lamb kidney recipe. I'm gonna start by getting the heat up in this pan, and uh, mix the oil and the butter so that the butter doesn't brown or burn, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna watch out because it don't get splattered a little bit of liquid in here, so just want to put the kidneys in there and get them seared on one side. And we don't want to crowd the pan too much, so that'll probably do us here for kidneys. Now these, all we want to do is we don't want to overcook them. It's like all organ meat recipes, we want to overcook them. There we go, that's exactly what we want, is uh, that nice type of brown color on them. Doesn't take very long, as you can see. Brown and dish. if you could just transfer those, because once the kidneys are done, uh, we want them to come out of the pan. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're going to finish these kidneys with. And uh, basically what, what we're doing is we're going to mix some very nice flavors together. And what we got is, we, again, we got our, our shallots, about two tablespoons of honey. It's going to give us a nice, beautifully flavored sauce with a lot of different textures and consistencies to it. And our mustard powder. And I'm just going to stir that up. That's beautiful. That is really, really beautiful. Now, you can see on the pan, Jerry, that there's all of this sort of brown cooked part where the, where the kidneys have seared. What we want to do is we want to deglaze that pan. And the best way to deglaze a pan is with a little bit of wine, although almost any fluid will do it. And so we've got some white wine. We're using a Sauvignon Blanc in this recipe, but any good wine would do. And actually, I'm going to get you to stir that for me, Jerry. I'll stir that nicely. And also, in terms of deglazing the pan, we're going to put about five ounces of champagne vinegar in there. That's going to give us a beautiful flavor. And about a liter of nice, deep veal stock. 
And we've got a beautiful sauce going there. And what we want to do is we want to bring that back up to a boil and reduce it. And once it gets boiling, it's not going to take that long, we're going to put the kidneys back in. And I'm going to put that back in there because I want them to cook up really nicely. And so, Jerry, I'm just going to boil that for one second. Put all that beautiful kidneys and fluid back 